Well, today we're gonna to take you on a journey. We're gonna install an LS in the 6566. You can use this as a tutorial to help you put yours in, or if you're just interested in getting our kit, you can see how it goes in so you know what you have to do. This kit is designed for any LS motor, which is a 48, 53, 60, 62, all of them on the same block, all of them the same mounting. So no matter what you choose to put in your car, it will fit all of that. Uh, it does not fit the LT motors. Again, that does not fit the LT motors. Right now we're gonna show you a 6.0 with a 4L60 trans going in this Cadillac. Okay, so we have the motor tore down. This was a, uh, I guess a junkyard motor you call it. It's a 6.0. Removed all the front pulley kit, the oil pan, the oil pickup tube. So now we're going to put the oil pan pickup tube on. We're going to mount the motor mount so you can see which direction they go and how they fit. Um, we're also going to show you a little bit of massaging that has to happen in the trans tunnel. On the back here, we marked it here with a one and a two. Right here, because we're trying to keep everything as uh, tight to the car. So if the car has airbags, it lays out. We don't have to worry about rubbing anything. This is out of a truck. So it does have the deeper oil pan on it, on the transmission. So you will need to change that to a car one and they're a little bit shorter and that'll keep the clearance issues down. But here, number one and number two is exactly where it hits in the trans tunnel and I'll show you right now on the car. So if you test for your transmission, you'll find out that you're gonna hit right here. We already did the work for you. So if you just knock this in a little bit here and knock this in a little bit here, we use a, a air chisel with a flat planishing bit, almost like a planishing hammer. Um, so we'll just work those little areas there and that's the two points that it hits and that everything else should clear at that point. Uh, we also remove the steering uh, tie rod end on the passenger side and the idler arm. What this does is opens this up so that we can drop the motor and tranny right in here and have plenty of clearance. Usually when we build cars like this, uh, we test fit everything first, then blow it all apart, clean it, paint it, powder coat, all that stuff. So this process right now, we're just getting a test fit and we'll end up pulling the whole thing apart and then making it fancy. So these are your frame motor mounts. We uh, made them with two studs on them. So what will happen is one stud will actually get a nut. The other one is just for lineup purposes. Next, I'll show you in the car, the two oval holes from the factory that these two studs will drop into. And then you'll see that this fits the contour of the chassis. Once this, once this is tightened down with everything in it, this will sit perfectly flat in the chassis with the devious logo facing forward. Inside the car, this is a factory slotted holes for the factory motor mounts. So our motor mounts literally drop in. There's two studs. We'll only put a nut on one of them, just like the factory one. We use this more of a lineup to make sure you're square. They'll fit in the frame like this. Again, the devious will be facing forward. I leave them loose until we get the motor in and then we put the bolts through and then we'll put flange nuts, half inch flange nuts that go through the inside of the frame in to tighten those up. But I leave it loose right now until we get the motor training in it so we can have a little bit of play. Uh, once the motor's in it, we'll put these in, put the training cross member, we'll raise, you, raise it up and show you the transmission cross member install as well. So when we're installing these parts, we recommend using Loctite, either blue or orange. This is, orange is removable. You just apply a little bit to the bottom of the bolt. That's as easy as that. This ensures that nothing ever comes loose or falls apart. Uh, it's just a safety measure we use here, uh, and you should too. So first off, we start with the four mounting bolts on the LS. Uh, three of them will be a regular bolt, which is metric. The third one will be a countersunk head, which I'm putting in now. Of course, make sure to lock tight all this stuff after you're finished mocking up. Now we'll install the motor mount and the bottom hole will actually go through the motor mount into the block and tighten accordingly. And then proceed to do the other side the exact same way. I'm going to speed it up a little bit just so you're not bored. Now that we have that in, we're going to mount the tranny to the motor and drop it in the car. We prefer to use a forklift. You can use an engine hoist or whatever your method of putting it in is. Lock tight the bolts into the transmission mount. Center. Tighten down. Now, the installation of the cross member. It's our new design. Literally, it'll just slide up on top of here. Line it up on the trans cross member first. Now we'll line up the outer bolts for the other four.
and there you have your transmission mount is installed. Now we're going to go to the oil pickup tube. Make sure you use the factory O-ring on it and tighten bolts according to GM specs. And the nut will go onto the support arm of the oil pickup tube. Tighten accordingly again. We will torque these with the torque wrench. Now we're going to install the oil pan, which should slide right up in there, no problem. Use a LS gasket. And I recommend starting all the bolts first before you go tightening everything. Here we are showing, uh, cinching up all the bolts. And again, we'll torque these to factory specs. We did remove the steering out of the way just to make it easier. Now we're installing the inspection plate cover. This just keeps all road debris and grime out of the transmission bell housing area. Uh, this is a dipstick plug. It has an O-ring on it. Now we're installing the dipstick. What I recommend doing is put a little Teflon tape on it and screw it into the oil pan. Tighten accordingly. We do a little bit of bend to get up and around the block. Uh, they come straight, so you just give it a little nudge here, nudge there. Now we're installing the motor mount lower bolts. In the motor mount package, there's two studs coming through. We only use one of them. The other one is just used for lineup. Now make sure your motor is straight right to left and snug up motor mount bolts. And there you have it, your motor and tranny is now installed. Attach idler arm and bolt back to the frame. We only remove this just to give us clearance to get the motor and tranny in easily. Now we're onto the shift linkage. So you're gonna go back to your stock steering column. You're gonna have to end up putting a bender two in it. So we will mount our shift linkage lever on. There is a small splined piece that goes on first with the bolt, then the arm goes on afterwards, and then you can line that up. Here we're removing the clip and the factory mount from the factory piece. Uh, it, will be, it will be replaced with a rod end on the end of the shaft. Here we are putting the shift linkage on and it's adjustable, therefore you can fine tune it faster or slower, whatever needs to be to make sure it goes through all the gears off the steering column. Removing the stock linkage. We will now install our new bolt with washers that are tapered that fits into the steering linkage arm. Now we'll add the steering linkage rod. Here, simply screw it in, figure out what bend we need, and then you have to shorten accordingly to get through full travel of your gears again. Simply put in the vise and give her a little tug and it should be enough. Cut to fit. Now we're going to install the headers. They're a center dump header. Um, put the header gasket on, start your bolt, and slide it right in. We like to start all our bolts first before we go torquing anything down. Again, after you start the engine and get it running, we recommend you go back and retorque the exhaust bolts once it's cooled down. Everything clears except for the steering box. It's just a slight edge. What we usually do is uh, dimple the header or uh, shave the side of the nut down for clearance. It is going to be tight, um, but uh, with a little bit of a dimple in the header or clearance on the bolt, it should be fine. Here you can see the car is now 
installed the hood just to show you the clearance that it, everything clears fine. There you have it. There's your 6566 LS motor swap install. I hope you loved it. If you have any questions, please feel free to call or visit. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube. We got more videos coming soon. Thank you again. Have a good day.